Okay, finally, I finished the art for my arcade stick. I bought the uh, Mayflash F500 Elite months ago. Um, and it's something I've been wanting to put in a custom piece of art for so long because, I mean, look at this artwork. They must want you to replace it, it's so incredibly bland. Uh, but uh, they have made it apparently quite easy to do so with the removable uh, plexiglass. So I've been trying to find artwork that I, or some kind of theme for my artwork for a long time. And I play so many different games and so many different genres of games with my arcade stick that I couldn't really decide on any one game to represent. So I end up wanting to go with some kind of pinup girl or something just cool and, and sexy to use. And I end up finding this uh, Tactical Sailor Saturn by um, an artist named Vine.art. I'll put a link in the description to their Instagram. And uh, I just thought it was such a cool drawing. She has this uh, gun, it looks like a vector with a bunch of different attachments on it and everything. And I wanted a fairly muted design because the arcade stick itself is fairly unusual color scheme. It has this beige base and then all the buttons are gray with black rings on the outside. I went for this black, blue, and pink theme. Um, this just says Retro System on the side here. It's really just here for the aesthetic. And uh, that's the name of the stick right there. I also uh, indicated the mode and turbo up here. For the background, I used artwork from the movie Tech on Kinkery, the movie version of the manga. And I just scanned in one of the um, kind of city scenes in the book here and then just color matched it and uh, changed the perspective a little bit to match. And let's see how easy it is to put this in. I haven't taken this apart yet or at all before. So and the back plate comes off just like that. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> All right, pretty nicely organized. I like the color coding of the, of the uh, cables. Yep, Samba branding. I guess we just pop the buttons in. Let's take a quick picture of the uh, setup here. All right, so. All the uh, buttons are out. What is it? Oh, just pops right off. Oh, these are actually magnets here. Okay. Oh. Ooh. That was on there pretty tight. And then this should pop right off. And it does. Very nice. Feeling the uh, artwork thickness. You know, they're about the same. So I don't want it sliding around underneath or anything. Now we trace it and cut. Mm. My mat is a little bit warped. We just gotta line up those holes there. It's really all about those the stick holes here. So if those are lined up, and the rest of it will be just fine. Okay. Tracing it out, keeping it really tight. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Now on to the cutting. Nice sharpened scissors. I wonder how forgiving this will be if uh, it's going well so far, but you know, I wonder if the plexiglass, the edge of the plexi will hide some imperfections in the cut. I actually had to uh, draw this hip in here in the artwork because the original artwork ended, I believe, right around here or so. Um, and uh, I needed just a little more to extend past. So I kind of gave her a uh, jutting out hip here. Even put in the little highlight there. OK, 
Okay, almost there. Holes are all now cut. Pretty sweet. Okay, we got a screen cleaning kit. This should work just fine for Plexi. Little air blower here, getting any little dust and particles off. Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay. That is looking sweet. It's actually looking perhaps better than I thought. Looks awesome. All right, happy. And now we just pop these buttons back in. I think that worked out uh, just right. All right, I'll get this thing closed up.